In this video, I'm going to go over the anatomy of a URL because we've already learned that one of the components that we need to serve up a page for a website is a server. And for websites, we specifically need a web server or an HTTP server, meaning that server contains special software that handles the HTTP or HTTPS protocol. And servers are just computers whose job is to serve up those documents, or in our case, a web document. But before it can know what to serve up, we need to know how to find it. So we type in a URL, an address, a location. And you can see on the screen right now, I have an example of a URL up. I'm going to break this down in just a little bit. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit more about this address. So everything is connected to the internet with an assigned IP or an internet protocol address. And that's really just a long number that we use to give the address to a server to help find the documents it needs to pass back over. But since an IP address is a long number that we don't want to memorize, each IP address is assigned a domain name. So let's break this down just a little bit using this house example. Let's say this is our house on the screen. Our house has several rooms in it, and each room has different things in it. If I said I want to go to my house, I wouldn't say the latitude and longitude of my house. While that's an address that would be very specific and pinpoint my address, I would just call this my house. And if I said more specifically I want to go to the living room in my house, I would say my house forward slash living room. Or if I specifically wanted to get to the computer desk that's in the bedroom that's in my house, I can be very specific in my instructions and how I find my house. Let's try this out for an example. I'm going to type in an IP address into the browser of let's say 199.27.145.65 and I'll select this to search for. It pulls up the O'Reilly website. I'm not going to want to memorize that number every single time I want to go to the O'Reilly website. So I would just type in O'Reilly or I would type in Google. Now let's go back to that URL and take a look here. Our protocol is the HTTP or the HTTPS if you want the secure one. Where the host name is www, that's the World Wide Web. And then that domain name, that's the place that we're trying to get to. So if we were going to our house, we would say www.myhouse. That gets us to where we need to be. There's also a number or an IP address that's assigned to this. That directory path, that's like picking a room in the house. So I could say I want to go to my house forward slash bedroom. And if I was looking for that desk that's in my house in the bedroom, I would insert that as my document. Oh sure, I could look up my house by 123 ABC Street, or I could say come on over to my house. So now that we have that idea in our mind, let's talk about the individual components, starting with that protocol. That's what's telling the server that we're looking specifically for a web address. It could also be, again, that HTTPS, which is that secure protocol. And that's when we're trying to send something personal through the web, like uh, maybe we're filling out a form. The domain name, that's the name of our website. It's the link to an IP address once it reaches that server. And our absolute path, that's the path on the server to get to that requested resource. And that's just really the anatomy of a URL. If you have any questions on any of the content in this video, please don't hesitate to ask.